Hello and welcome back. In the last lesson, we learned a little bit about variables. In this lesson, we are going to learn how we can merge them together. Now, merging variables together, like combining sentences, is called concatenation. See that word here, concatenation. You'll often see it just as the word concat as well. Why is it called concatenation? I don't know. We could just call it merging, but hey, developers like their fancy words. So, hey, we call it concatenation. Now in this video, I am going to actually do most of this in the console. So I go to the console and let's go ahead and make Chrome bigger because we can. And so on my left, I just have uh, merging variables.html open. That's just the source code in here. There's currently nothing in there, no JavaScript. And it looks like a blank page and we have a terminal in here. So I could say alert, hi, and this will work. Hello. Let's go ahead and clear this, clear console. And let's create a couple of variables together and then concatenate them. So let's create an age and an introduction to who I am. So let's say var intro is equal to, hi, my name is Caleb and I am something, something, something years old. So this is my intro, and if I type this, you can see that it just spits out exactly what I had written already. Now, if I type in uh, var age is equal to 30, type in age again, we can see that age doesn't have quotations around it, so we know it's actually a number. And we want to inject that number in here. So how do we go about doing this? Well, we sort of went about this backwards because we defined this first, we defined intro first, and then we defined our age. But guess what? We can overwrite variables. So we can say intro, and it tells us what the intro is already, is equal to, instead of just having this blank in here, what I can do is I can actually quit the sentence by putting another quotation mark in there, put a plus sign, and then the variable, another plus sign, and then a quotation. And there are different ways of doing this in more modern JavaScript, but you're going to see this all over the place. So we're going to learn this way first. And so basically this is saying, hey, intro, you're already defined, so we don't need to use var. It says, hi, my name is Calbo, good old Calbo Tavlian. My name is Caleb, and I am, and then it quits the sentence and says, hey, also add the age in there. Whatever that value is, put it in there. And then, oh, hey, start that sentence back up again with another plus sign and then another quotation and just put the rest of the sentence in there. And so if we hit enter, we can see, hi, my name is Caleb and I am 30 years old. And honestly, that's all there is to concatenation. Now the problem gets into when you try to concatenate numbers. So if I create another variable called uh, number two, I guess, and uh, we'll make that 40.123. We can see in here, num2 is equal to 40.123. Now what happens if I wanted to say 3040.123? So the number should look 3040.123. How are we gonna concatenate that? That is trickier because these are numbers and when you do a plus sign with numbers in most programming languages, it simply adds the numbers together and that's not what we want. So if we did age plus num2, Look at that, it gives us a number. We don't want 70.1229999. This is a funny little thing in computer science where there is actually no whole number. Uh, and JavaScript occasionally runs into this. This is actually a pretty cool example. But instead of saying 70.123, it says 70.1229999999 infinity, infinity, and so on. But this is not what we want. So how, how do we merge these together? Well, we can do this by concatenating a string in here. So remember that last lesson when I said strings and numbers are a little bit different, it's kind of important to know? Well, already we need to know the difference here. So we can do this. And all we said was, hey, take the number 30, add it to an empty string, an empty sentence, and then add the second number to it. And so if we hit enter, we can see this is no longer actually a number, this is a string. And we can tell it's a string because it has quotations around it. And so this is saying this is a string of 3040.123. Also note how it says dot one two three and not one two two nine 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 nine. It's because it's not a number. The computer doesn't have to work out a rounded number like that. It only has to say, oh, this is a string. So yeah, I understand that there are numbers in here, but we don't have to perform a bunch of math and stuff behind the scenes to make that work. 
This is just as if it was regular English letters. I guess it doesn't have to be English letters. It could be any letters, really. Uh, but yeah, just the difference between letters and numbers here. And so this one now thinks that these are all basically letters instead of numbers. So let's go ahead and add one sentence with two cats. So let's say uh, var cat one. His name is going to be Zephyr. Zephyr. And var cat two is equal to Henry. So these are my two cats. By the way, you're going to see this undefined whenever you use var. This gets into hoisting. This is a more complicated JavaScript feature to uh, sort of tackle right now. We'll tackle this a little bit later, but if you see undefined like this, don't worry. Nothing is wrong. It's just sort of JavaScript's way of registering a variable and then registering the value of the variable. That's called hoisting. Again, we'll get into that in the future. And so now I want to say var sentence is equal to I have two cats. And the first one is going to be cat one. And the second one is going to be cat two. And we can just leave it here just like that. And so what we're saying here is, hey, I've got a sentence, but I also want to put the variable of cat one in there. So whatever that is going to be, it happens to be Zephyr, but it could be any other name in the world. And maybe it's been overwritten a hundred times. We don't know. Whatever that end result is, we're going to put it in here. And then we're going to concatenate a, another piece of the sentence, just the word and, and then using the plus sign, we're going to concatenate Henry, which is cat two. So let's go ahead and type sentence, and you can see I have two cats, Zephyr and Henry. Furthermore, we could actually get even deeper into this as well. We could do var age one. So let's say age of cat one is going to be four. And var age two, that's cat two, whatever that age is going to be. We know it's Henry. I know his age is currently two. So we've got a four-year-old and a two-year-old cat. Now we want to actually concatenate into another concatenated sentence already. So sentence has already been defined. And as you can see, I can type this into my console and it tells me sort of in faded out text, I have two cats, Zephyr and Henry. Let's go ahead and say sentence is equal to sentence plus, so it's gonna take this value and we're gonna concatenate something on top of that. So we want to put a period at the very end here. And let's say, and they are something years old. So something and something years old. So four and two, this is what we want to get into here. So it's always helped me too when I was learning how to concatenate is just put like underscores in there and then you can simply do your uh, funny concatenation kind of style in here where you have closing quotation, plus sign. And then in here we could put age one plus sign, quotation, and you can see it's in opposite order. So it goes quotation plus sign, and then to get back in, you do plus sign quotation. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. And this is just going to be H2, and let's go ahead and hit enter. Oh, and by the way, we can put semicolons at the end of this, but we don't necessarily have to because our console, or Chrome in this instance, knows that every command is its own command. So we don't have to do this uh, semicolon thing, but again, it's just a good practice to get into. Uh, as JavaScript gets older, we use semicolons a lot less. And cool, uh, you are probably screaming at the screen saying, Caleb, age two does not exist. It is called age one. You can see that here. I didn't call it age two. I just called it age. And so let's go ahead and redo this. We could also just redefine or just define a variable called age2, and this would fix it. Uh, but let's go ahead and change this to age. And there we go. And so now it says, I have two cats, Zephyr and Henry, and they are four and two years old. And so if I go ahead and clear this and type sentence again, let's make that bigger. I have two cats, Zephyr and Henry, and they are four years old. So I've got age in here. We know age is two, we've got age, age one is four, we know that. We have cat one, we've got cat two, and then we've got sentence. So we have done a bunch of variable declarations in here, we've defined variables, and we have merged them together in a sentence, and then we merged it into that sentence one more time. So that's basically all there is to concatenation.
Now you're going to see this all over the place because JavaScript is a language where you can modify your web page, your HTML, and even your CSS. And you're going to want to eventually take a variable and replace some text on your page with whatever that variable value is going to be. And so this is how we do concatenation. Now, if you're interested in giving this a shot, you can do exactly what I did in this variable and just say, hey, my name is whatever your name is. Uh, I have a cat or a dog, or I have, how many books do you have? Maybe you have a thousand books. You could do something like that. It's always good to go in there and give this a shot. Don't forget, if you ever have questions, I am here to help you. You can always leave a comment or a question down below.